let's see. Oh, hey, hi there. You're here. Welcome to the Witcher Math channel. And today we are working on using rectangle models to square binomials. Wow, that's a mouthful. Let's uh, first of all do a little background information here. What is a binomial? Well, a binomial is bi, which is a Latin prefix, meaning having two. You probably knew that already, right? And nomial is from the Greek nomos, which means part or portion. So a binomial has two parts. For us, that means it has two terms. All right, so we have a little language background there. And now, let's talk about our uh, FOIL. First of all, FOIL has lots of different meanings. As you can see by our friend Snidely Whiplash here, foil can be a person or thing that makes another thing seem better by contrast. Look at how mean he is. Most people look better in contrast to Snidely Whiplash, therefore he is a foil. What about uh, Delbert here? What is he holding? He's holding a foil. That's right. A flexible four-sided um, rapier having a blunt point. Hey, I thought this was the Witcher math channel. What are you doing defining words, Mr. Witcher? <coughs> Excuse me. Well, oh yeah, and let's not forget this. This kind of foil. Mmm. Fun noises. Okay, here's what we're getting down to here. FOIL is, a, uh, in algebra, a mnemonic device or a linguistic tool that, we, that students use to recommend to, to multiply two binomials. There we go. The FOIL method, first, outer, inner, last. Now, before I get into that too much, let's not. Okay? There, that was easy. Now, in order to square a binomial, and what I'm talking about here is something like this. There's my nomials. There's two of them, right? In order to square that, let's see what's happening when we square something simple, like a number. 5 squared is 25. What does that mean? It means there's a square. The sides are 5, and therefore... 5 times 5 is 25. Think of that as the area of a square. Okay? Now, if I break that down and say, hey, what's 3 plus 2 squared? You uh, add the 3 and the 2, and you get your 25. Some people do this. They think, oh, that's 3 squared plus 2 squared. That equals 9 plus 4 equals 13. Hey, that's a different answer. Let's break it down using our rectangle, though. If I go like this, and I make my 5 is actually 3 plus 2, and 3 plus 2, then I have 3 times 3 is 9. I have 3 times 2, 6. I have another 3 times 2, 6. And I have 2 times 2, 4. When I add all those products together, I get 25. Very nice, very simple, very easy. Now, let's go to our example here. Let's take uh, x plus 2, our binomial, and let's square it using a rectangle model. Okay. One side is going to be x plus 2. And the other side is going to be x plus 2. After all, we're squaring it, right? We're making a square. Two sides are the same. Let's split up that rectangle, or the square in this case. x times x is x squared. 
2 times x is 2x. 2 times x there is 2x. Notice how when we're squaring, these two are the same. And then finally, 2 times 2 is 4. Now when we add all those things together, x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 4. And then we're going to combine like terms, meaning we're going to put those with the same uh, variables together x squared plus 4x plus 4 is what that equals. And that is how you use a rectangle model to square a binomial. Let's do one more just for fun. I think the bell is going to ring here, but what the heck, let's do it anyway. Let's do x minus 2 squared. Let's see what happens. I'm going to make it bigger this time x minus 2, x minus 2. We have x squared, we have negative 2x, negative 2x, and positive 4, which gives us x squared minus 4x plus 4. Rectangle model. Stay tuned, and we are going to use a rectangle model not just to square binomials, but to multiply them. So please stay tuned. We love rectangle models here on the Witcher Math Channel. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.